Hello everyone. As you can see, the rumors are true. I'm on the set of The Last Kingdom and season three is well underway. I think it's gonna be the best season yet. Well guys, Netflix played a significant role in making The Last Kingdom, an epic show by providing necessary resources, creative freedom, and a platform to bring the story to life. Here are some ways Netflix contributed to the show's success. The Last Kingdom book series for television, Netflix acquired the rights to the book written by Bernard Cornwell and took on the responsibility of bringing the story to life on the small screen. To make this happen, Netflix put together a talented production team consisting of writers and directors and producers. They worked closely with the author himself to ensure that the adaption stayed true to the essence of the books while also providing it, while also making it engaging and captivating for the viewers. The team took the rich source material provided by the books and transformed it into a script that would work well in a television series format. They made decisions on what to include and what to leave out, and how to structure the story to make it compelling for the audience. The collaboration between Netflix, the production team, and Bernard Cornwell helped in creating a seamless transition from page to screen. And now you have a, a showrunner who basically writes the majority of the episodes. After the first season, does he sort of get together with you and talk about where it's going, where you'd like to, what you'd like well, to play? Well, we, we we have a very good idea of where it's supposed to go because it is based on on a series of books uh, by Bernard Cornwell, and obviously we can't always stick to the books because it's it's a different uh, medium, and sometimes I, I see moments in the books that I'm super excited about. This ensured that the fans of the books would recognize the world they fell in love with, of also introducing the story and the characters to a wider audience who may not have read the books. So let's talk about how Netflix increased its budget to make The Last Kingdom an epic show. When Netflix got on board with The Last Kingdom, they brought along a massive bag of gold, which means they had way more money to invest into production. And guess what? More money equals more awesome stuff. With the increased budget, the production team could create dark-dropping visuals, elaborate set, and awesome costumes that transported us back to the medieval world of Uhtred and his adventures. They spared no expense in making every detail feel authentic and immerse. But that's not all. The battle sequences in The Last Kingdom became truly epic thanks to Netflix's generous investment. They could afford large-scale battles with impressive armies, intense combat choreography, and mind-blowing special effects. It was like watching a real clash of warriors right on your screen. The enhanced budget also allowed the team to explore breathtaking locations and stunning landscapes. They could scout for pictures, they could scout for castles, rocked countryside and mystical forest that added a whole new level of beauty in the show. So thanks to Netflix Deep Pockets, The Last Kingdom became a visual feast with every frame dripping in production value. It's safe to say that increased budget played a significant role in making the show truly epic, giving us the world of the Vikings, Saxons and epic battles. And remember folks, when it comes to create an unforgettable show, sometimes more money really does mean more epicness. When Netflix came on board, they brought their massive worldwide audience with them. We are in this like interesting age of television where The Last Kingdom exists for three seasons on BBC, then BBC Netflix, now Netflix, and it has probably a massive fan base in some ways but i imagine you yourself as the actor were surprised when you started noticing that there were uh, that it was a fan base because it's not the same as it used to be 20 years ago where if something had a fan base everybody in the world knew about this thing well there's there's so many shows out there now and uh and i think we do it is kind of a niche market um and i think that the fans we have are are very loyal you know and and um uh, I'm, I'm proud of that, I mean... Yep, we're talking about millions and millions of viewers from all corners of the globe. And what did that mean for The Last Kingdom? Instant exposure to fans all around the world. Netflix used their marketing magic to spread the word of this epic show. They unleashed a whirlwind of promotion campaigns, trailers and teasers across their platform and various social media channels. They knew how to grab our attention and make us crave more. But it doesn't stop there. Netflix's global presence meant that The Last Kingdom was available to subscribers in over 190 countries. That's right, no matter where you are in the world, you could join in on Uhtred's adventure and experience the thrill of the show. Thanks to this global reach, The Last Kingdom quickly gained a massive fan base. People from different cultures and backgrounds fell in love with the characters, the drama and the historical richness of the series. Fans from all over the world connected 
discuss theories and share the excitement making it a truly global phenomenon. So heads off to Netflix and their strategic marketing efforts. They knew exactly how to make The Last Kingdom accessible to everyone, spreading the epicness far and wide. Whenever you were in London or Tokyo, you could dive in the world of battles, politics and honor alongside Uhtred and his companions. Remember folks, when a streaming giant like Netflix puts their marketing muscle behind the show, it becomes a global sensation that unites fans from, from all walks of life. And that's the magic of The Last Kingdom. Now let's talk about creative freedom. When Netflix got involved in The Last Kingdom, they gave the show creators the ultimate gift, creative freedom. They trusted the production team to explore the source material and make their own decisions without excessive interference. And boy, did they deliver. With this creative freedom, the team was able to stay true to the essence of Bernard Coleman's book, also adapting the story for television in a way that would captivate wider audience. They were able to bring their own unique vision to the show, adding depth and layers to the characters and their relationships. They made bold choices in the storyline, weaving together elements of action, drama, politics and personal struggles. This freedom allowed them to take risks, surprise the audience and keep us on the edge of our seats throughout each episode. Netflix trust in the creative team also extended to the visual aspect of the show from the breathtaking cinematography to the stunning production design the team had the freedom to create a visual striking world that transport us back in time and the immersed atmosphere will all of the result of the creative freedom but it doesn't stop there the show's writers were able to explore complex characters arcs and develop deep relationships that, that kept us emotionally invested they could dive deep into the psychology of each character allowing us to understand their motivations and inner struggles so thanks to netflix trust and creative freedom the last Kingdom became more than just an adaption. It became a work of art that allowed the show creators to infuse their passion, expertise and unique storyline approach into every aspect of the series. Remember folks, when creative minds are given the freedom to explore and take risks, it leads to a show that transcends expectations and becomes an absolute masterpiece. And that's exactly what happened with The Last Kingdom. When it comes to supporting the original content, Netflix knows how to keep the momentum going. That's exactly what they did with The Last Kingdom. They showed their dedication to the series by renewing it for multiple reasons. Much to the delight of the fans worldwide, by renewing the show, Netflix allowed the story to unfold and the characters to grow over time. We got to witness the epic journey of Uhtred and his companions as they navigated the ever-changing political landscape of medieval England. This continuous support meant that the creators had the opportunity to dive deeper into the storylines and explore the rich historical backdrop. They could take their time to develop the characters, introduce new challenges, and keep us hooked with unexpected twists and turns. But it's not just about the renewal itself. Netflix's commitment to the last game that extended to the production value and resource they provided with each season, the show continued to raise the bar, delivering even more breathtaking visual intense battles and captivating storyline. By renewing the show, Netflix also gave the fan base a sense of security and excitement. We knew what we could look forward to, to more thrilling adventures and epic moments with our beloved characters. The renewal announcement created a buzz and fueled our excitement for what was to come. So heads off to Netflix for their continuous support and belief in the world of The Last Kingdom. Their commitment to renewal the show is not only to keep us entertained but also allow the series to evolve and become even greater success over time. The Last Kingdom was able to evolve and adapt delivering content that catered to our preference and kept us engaged. It was a win-win situation for both the viewers and the creators, resulting in a show that hit all the right notes. So kudos for Netflix for giving us The Last Kingdom. It was a captivating series we all know and love. 